All right, well, um, it turns out I still had like five minutes left on that last video, but uh, it doesn't really matter. So where we left off, we had created the the entire first panel, and we saw what it was, uh, what it looked like. So now, um, uh, if you remember, we created that uh, that button listener, and uh, that's what we have to do right now. We have to we have to um, we have to let it know what we want it to do. So we're gonna say private class button listener implements action listener and then um so that tells the button that we're going to be calling it and then public void and then action performed action and then action event event Uh, let's see if this all is nifty and dandy. Let's, uh, comp I'm going to compile this real quick. I think I'm, I think I'm missing, uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, no syntax errors. Yeah, I thought we, I was missing a bracket, or whatever it's called. And, um, but, uh, then I was right, because it just didn't look right. Okay. So now we need to tell it what we want it to do, and um, if you remember from uh, up above when uh, we were talking about uh, different uh, imports for for the uh, for the J frames and the J panel, so um, but there's still this one, this uh, Java dot dot random that um that lets us know that <coughs> or it lets the program know really. That uh, we're going to be generating random numbers sometime in this program, and um, and we're going to do that now. <coughs> you know, uh, we could have called it earlier, or uh, no, actually, we really couldn't have. But um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. So um, now we're going to need to uh, uh, we're going to need to call the generator by calling the object that we have it set as. So this needs to match this word, just as long as um. Just as long as they're uh, the same word, they'll match up. So we'll say generator dot next int, and then we need to set the parameters on it. And so we want it to run one or zero through nine. So I would say this generator dot next int nine plus one, and uh, we'll set that for all of them so that um, they all run the same numbers. Obviously, they're not going to all generate the same number; they're going to generate their own numbers. But um, uh, so. But yeah, okay. Anyways, so um, as you remembered from earlier, we uh, when even though we created the uh the J labels, uh, they they didn't get put in until we said the uh add and then whatever the uh, uh their J label name was. So uh, it's the same thing with this. Um, here I'll show you real quick, real quick. Um, we'll compile this, and um. So as you see, we have the random the random numbers created, and um, and we have set uh, random one, two, and three to random numbers, but and and we've set the button so that it will do something. However, it doesn't create a random number; it just sits at zero. It's because it's the same. It was the same thing with the uh, the add the J labels. We have to tell the program that we're changing what the text is. So we say number one dot set text, and then we say whatever we want it to be. And um, uh, we're gonna keep it the same as uh was earlier. So we're gonna say random one, and because you know, up here random one started at zero, and here random one when it was put into the number one J label it was still zero. But when we came down here, random one was set to a random generator between zero and nine, and so here we're setting whatever this to this. So this random is gonna be equivalent to this random. They're the same number, so it's not gonna end up being zero anymore. So we have to do the same thing for uh, the other two, uh, the other two uh, random numbers, so that uh, they're not just left at uh, zero. Okay. So now that um, these numbers have been created, uh, I'll show you this really quick. But um.
I forgot to check what time that this video ends at again. So, um, uh, as you can see, the numbers now, they, uh, they change, but none of these change. The coins, the doubles, the triples, or the number of times pulled don't change. It's because we haven't told it to do anything with those yet. We still have to implement and tell them what we want done. And because of that, we need a couple of if statements. So, um, the first one we're going to start off with is the coin count. We're going to set the coin. We're going to say that if the coin count is uh, greater than or equal to one, uh, it needs to run everything in the brackets. So we're going to put a lot of space so that we can have a nice big bracket. Okay. So uh, when that's run, you know we're going to need it. We're going to because you know that's it, it's the 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 lever's been pulled. So obviously, what we need to do is we need to subtract one from uh, from the count, so that uh, it will take away. So other because if we don't put that, then you know it's it'll say you have 15 coins, and it'll see it'll always say you have 15 coins, and then this if statement becomes kind of irrelevant. So then inside that we need another if statement, and um, this is for uh, determining the uh, the triples. So we'll say if uh, if random one equals random two and random two equals random three that uh... that we want everything to do in this bracket that I'm about to create so everything in that bracket and then even then inside that one we need to tell it what to do so with this one we need to say triples plus plus, so that will add one of the triples. And then also, if you win, if you win in a slot machine, you you don't just lose your money. It doesn't just yell at you. It uh it gives you stuff back. It gives you more coins. So we're gonna set the coin count to uh to add thirty to it. And um obviously that uh and then so then that will lead into another if statement because you know this is for triples, but We've yet to establish what happens with doubles. Oh lordy. Okay, so and then if random one equals random two or random two equals random three or random one equals random three. If uh, if that's what that is, then uh, we want it to do whatever is inside of here, which I'm about to set. Uh, and um, with that one, we want a uh, we want to count to the doubles. So and then uh, let's just say you get your coin back and then plus one, because um, uh, when I wrote it earlier, if you be it, doubles come around a lot more often than you think it would, and so um. I had it set to three, but then I, whenever I was running it to see if something later on we're going to talk about whatever happened, uh, I, I could never get to it because you know I just keep winning uh, the doubles. So um, I don't want to go over this video, and I don't know how long I've been going for. So I'm going to stop real quick, and we'll go on to the next one. All right, thanks.